Thank you for joining us as we discuss how to assess the impact of the coronavirus on your supply chain. I'm Stuart McCallum, an advisory partner with HHM. Joining me is John Eaves, our manufacturing subject matter expert. Over a series of videos, we will discuss the current state of supply chains, how to assess your supply chain, and how to determine your ability to effectively reboot. In this video, we will discuss whether your suppliers are ready to meet your needs. Just because you are ready to open doesn't mean that your supply chain is just as ready. We talked in our supply chain mapping video earlier about the importance of identifying which suppliers still exist to execute orders. That is just one piece of your puzzle. The next is understanding whether they can execute orders and if they'll execute your orders in a timely manner. A prime and relevant example today are the states that thought they had medical equipment and mask manufacturers only to find out that the federal government orders took priority. And in some cases, the products earmarked for those states were diverted to the federal government. While there are some circumstances in this example that may not apply to the private sector, the impact on your organization could be the same. In terms of questions, for the sake of this video and our purposes, we will focus on the operational. That is, what capacity are your suppliers running at? How many layoffs did they make? Do they have any inventory from which to immediately work? What is their current backlog of customers? This line of question should be pushed down to the bottom of your supply chain in order to assess whether your suppliers still have the operational ability to meet your demands. This ranges from both the largest vendor to the one dedicated primarily to you. In the case of a large supplier, they may have competing orders. In the case of a dedicated supplier, think of a tire manufacturer across the street from the Ford Assembly Plant in Kentucky, then you're limited specifically by their ability to source talent from that single market. In a time when unemployment is paying close to 50,000 in some states, recruiting employees could be a strong headwind to your supplier base. Even though we have identified which of your suppliers technically exist, some of those suppliers may still not exist for you from a practical standpoint. They may either lack the ability to execute orders or an inability to execute your orders. The impact is the same. A supplier that can't fulfill your orders because there's a three month backlog will not work for our needs and we will need to seek alternative options. There are many nuances to consider when performing an assessment of your post coronavirus supply chain. In later videos, we will detail deeper analysis that is required to understand the state of your organization's suppliers. If you have any questions or concerns about your supply chain or manufacturing process improvement, please feel free to reach out to us at any time.